Hi, my name is Steve Taylor. I'm head of the Computational Biology Research Group at the Weatherall Institute of Molecular Medicine in Oxford and also the Chief Scientific Officer of Zagami. What I want to show you today is some more advanced features of Zagami that we achieve by using various plugins to the platform. So here we have a collection of 3,570 images derived from um, the Australian Museum Terrestrial Invertebrate Collection. So you can see these are really nice images. They're all pretty varied. Some you've got labels in and some you've got uh, a picture of the insect in question. Some you've actually got, um, you can talk an overview here, some you can see here have got actually no um, images of the actual specimen at all. But we've got a very wide and varied data source here to kind of look at. But one nice thing we can do um, with this collection is we can say, well, I'm interested in this particular um, genus and species of bug, um, but let's see how we can find similar ones associated with that. So this is using very straightforward image analysis, but in Zagami's context, it's very powerful. So here we can, you can see here that this has picked out really nicely some of the bugs in the collection that are very similar. This is the top 10. We can ch change that to anything. But we can tag these to say interesting, for example, or if you may be annotating a whole bunch of data, and then that will be shown in the tags as interesting, and it will allow us to start marking up this data set. Now, one other thing we can do as well, is we can look at the geographical distribution of these. And these are in Australia. And we can look at these up here. So you can see there's one here uh, up in the Northern Territories. And a, a few of these also vision, visually can be seen quite close to each other um, in a sort of more central place. And again, drill down to these and we'll get a very quick overview of where these particular um, species have been found. Okay that concludes this short demo of uh, some of the plugins in Zagami. I'll be doing some more soon. Thanks bye.